Hello everyone, welcome back to another art time lapse. Today I am doing a game board of the best taste buds. Now this is a game board that I'm doing for a friend for a Christmas present, so it's supposed to be a little bit surprised. Not really sure if she's subscribed to this channel, but I've been meaning to give her something special because she's always been so kind to my family and I thought it would be really fun and she would appreciate the artwork and the fun behind it. So speeding things up, the idea of this game is going to be little game pieces that are meant to be memory, like a memory game. So you flip all the pieces over and then you try to get like all the right pieces that fills your board. Now the little twist to this is that like all the little characters that you have to catch on your game board and match are going to be like different types of food and they're going to be like pairs of food that are meant to be like best buds like best taste buds so for example you can see here there's macaroni and cheese that i've wrapped up and now i'm working on a carrot piece my goal is to pair the carrot together with peas so we like carrot and peas so here i'm using my acrylics from posca these are acrylic markers and it's just so easy to use because like sometimes when you use acrylics you have to bring out your brushes and then squirt out the paint it's just like a big ordeal and i find that with these markers it allows me to not worry about the hassle and just get started with painting as well it's really good for doing like fine details because sometimes you just don't get the really fine details with a brush not to say it's necessarily easy with a marker but they come with like extra fine fine regular and like different sizing for the nib so for mine i believe it's like a 0.9 to 1.3 millimeters so it's like a regular fine thickness which is really great for some of these tiles so in case you're curious the tiles i'm using are roughly around 40 millimeters by 40 millimeters i thought they were really good sizing for like kids if they were to play with it and also for adults it's also like a really good size for me to work on some of these smaller pieces so it doesn't take me as much time to work on each piece and plus i find that because the pieces are so small like i actually wrap them really quickly and also like the characters are just so much cuter when they're like a little bit more dainty and a little bit more small of course it does make it a little bit more challenging if you want to add details to a piece so as a result i try to overcome this by using the sakura jelly rolls they can pick up at your local craft store or you can pick up at a stationery store and also like on amazon and online as well so here you can see that after all the acrylics dry, I use my archival jelly roll, this, these inks, to kind of add on outlines. And I think that the piece just stands out so much more as a result of this. I should mention that this YouTube video is not sponsored by Sakura or like this brand. I'm just speaking from an artist's point of view. I really feel like this is a art supply piece that is totally worth it if you're looking for some sort of art supply to explore for your mixed media in the future. So you can see here is my pea. Next I'm going to work on a marshmallow because I want to do like a chocolate and marshmallow pairing. This one I did white acrylics on the background and now I'm just adding outline and I didn't want to use black as an outline so I'm using this darker brown color which gives it a bit of a warmer tone working on a project like this i think that color selection is key you don't want to choose like all the colors of the rainbow it's good to have a general color scheme and limit your color selection it can also activate your inner creativity so try to select maybe i chose like around six colors um, including like white as one of the colors to do these board game pieces so here you can see i'm using my white sakura jelly roll marker to highlight the details of this piece and this is the chocolate that will go with the marshmallow so overall i had around 36 pieces in total and i split them between three game boards so there will be three players playing this game I think if you want you can definitely do more pieces but for me like i wanted a little bit of a break after like doing 36 pieces i was a little bit out of ideas in terms of what is the best taste bud pairing thinking back as i'm working on this game board 
artwork i think i could have classified the foods into like three general categories maybe i could have done like fruits and vegetables or like i could have done like proteins and meats on another board another idea is like maybe one board is entails totally desserts and another one just like all breakfast foods i didn't really have a clear plan when i started it so i just did like food pairing that i'm familiar with like bacon and eggs and I thought it would be really fun to draw them so I didn't think about how I was going to group them and how the user was going to utilize them so in the future if I was to do something like this again or if you plan on doing a project similar I would recommend like having a full list of all the food pairings and have them like grouped into like three or four categories depending on how many players you plan on having for this game and then like go from there I mean it still works out if you want to do it for fun and just do the food pairings you want to so next you can see i'm doing these two pieces of bread one is going to be peanut butter and one is jam ideally i was hoping to do like purple for the jelly for the jam but i don't have purple as part of my color scheme so this limited color scheme just pushes me to be a little bit more creative so instead of using purple i just decided to go with like a ruby red color I'm also using these darker or light orange to create highlights around the characters and all the pieces. This creates a little bit of more unison with the color scheme between all the different 36 pieces for this memory game. And I also think it makes it look a little bit nicer, it pops a little bit, a little bit more 3D rather than just really flat and two dimensional. But with most of the pieces, it would have some degree of like dark brown that I use for my highlight which create kind of like a sense of unity and like the whole pieces or the whole game board seems more cohesive as a result so here wrapping up these pieces i want to show you how it turned out at the very end so here are the game boards best taste buds so i also did outline for each of the pieces on the game boards didn't have names for all of the characters on the board i just thought that it was kind of self-explanatory so i just drew the characters and outlined them on the game board so there are 12 pieces you need to collect for a game board and these game boards i picked them up at the dollarama at the dollar store near me and then i just drew my acrylics right on top of the game board and then i add a layer of seal on top of it to make sure that like it doesn't scratch as easily and it maintains well over time so here you can see this one this like red one is kind of like more breakfast and like dinner fun foods so i'm gonna try to put all of the pieces onto the game board so you can see how they look like as a set but to be honest i had so much fun doing this i would definitely do it again but it was like a lot of time just to do all the different pieces and the game board so here is how it looks like for the color pieces versus the outline so i have a lot of wooden pieces um the only thing is thinking about like how i best package it to gift it to my friend so that is something i need to work out here you can see that there is meatballs and spaghetti so that's one of the foods so this board i think is more like dinner foods such as like mac and cheese here is like one of the cheeses so here is the best taste buds game board with all the pieces on top this one's more breakfast food so you can see there's like bacon and eggs there is like cookies and milk there's avocado toast there's milk and cereal and then i just added ketchup and mustard on the side again like i did this retrospectively thinking of like how to pair them together so this is not like the best like breakfast food board but it was good enough for me so this next one this red game board is more for like dinner foods i guess but i wouldn't say chocolate and like marshmallow is like the best dinner food but it does have a lot of like dinnery food <laughs> like chicken and waffles and then this next one this turquoise or teal color one is more like for the mature eater with wine and cheese there's sushi and wasabi there's also like coffee and donuts pepper and salt potatoes and steak so this would be a more mature 
eater i would imagine but overall really had a lot of fun i hope you enjoyed this art time last as i bring you through how i produce these best taste buds game board and perhaps you will do something similar for your next art project if you like the content on the channel please consider giving this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel well that's it for today thank you so much for joining me on this video and hopefully i will see you next time stay safe and stay creative everyone bye for now